All right. As an extra, let's make sure we got a uh, got the ability to make a style. So in the project two, I just kind of covered that I made two different styles for this, but I didn't actually show how to make a style. So let's go over that real quick. So here are my two sections, and they're both currently a dashed line of some sort. But say I'd like to make a style that didn't have a dashed line to it. There's a couple ways to do it, but the one that I like is if you select an object, in this case here, my profile. There's a few ways to do it. One of my favorite ways to do things when I'm making new styles is pick the object that has a style associated with it. Right click and actually go to its properties. So in this case, I've picked the profile. Looking at the profile properties, one of course is the name of it. The other is the object style. Right now, this one has a new one that I made, existing ground profile too. Not very creative, nor very descriptive, but in this case, adequate. So just for fun, let's copy this current style. When I copy this style, it takes me to the last tab I was working on, which in this case was display. But I want to go to the information tab. And to make this a little clearer, I want to make this one here, block surface. That way I know that I'm playing with my blocks. For the display, we can see right now that it's attached to this layer right here, C Road Profile. If I don't want to change the way the C Road Profile is controlling this, I'd leave the color by layer, but in this case I took a shortcut and just forcibly changed the color. If I click on Cyan, I know my blocks are a little green dot, so why not? Let's make it a green layer. We'll say OK. And right now the line type is currently by layer, which C Road Profile is a dashed line. I would like it to just be continuous, at least for the sake of example. So now I have color and line type overridden for the layer C Road Profile. But now if I turn C Road Profile on and off in my layers, that would control the visibility of it, because I would like to leave it on for this style. Now I'm going to say OK. Now I've got block surface in here. But while I'm at it, block surface is pretty good. I'd like to make a text surface as well. So let's copy black. I'm going to change this to text surface. And since my text surface is nice and red, I do know that my line type or my layer, C Road Profile, is that red as well. I can say by layer, which is going to turn it back to red. But if I want to make sure that text is always red, I'll set it to color 1. So even though the by layer, that way if I ever change the layer for C Road Profile later on to something else, it will maintain red because I've got this style assigned to it. Now I say OK, say OK. And now we can see the differences. I've got one that's dashed. This one here is being made from the black surface. This one here is being made from the text surface. And so to assign the correct styles to these, I'm going to pick Profile Property. This one is text or black surface. So there's my black surface style. This one is text surface. Profile Properties, text surface. We're good. All right, there we go. Now. I've got corresponding colors to go with my corresponding entities I use to make these. Not bad.